guys, you're not going to believe what happened last night. As you know, I moved down here to the sunny state of Florida to get my new life started. When what should happen? Old BG Cumby heads down to the beach in 40 degree weather for a good old fashioned cold swim. Well, I've done it now. I forgot that I was rectally bleeding from earlier before due to a non-sexual accident that occurred when I slipped and landed anus first onto one of those dragon apparatuses that my silly new roommate, Foibles the houseboy, left lying around. That lovable scamp. I love him to death, but sometimes he is as dumb as a box of, uh... What are those little gray hard things you find lying around sometimes outside? Sorry, all the blood loss is uh, really affecting my memory. Uh, I haven't actually been to the hospital yet, by the way. I immediately came here and started making this YouTube video, actually. Anyone? Yep. Went and got my arms bitten off by a shark. Uh, both of them, actually. Yeah. Good old-fashioned cold morning swim, and my bleeding rectum attracted a school of great whites. I was able to fight off most of them, but I got caught lacking, you could say. Florida is an open carry state, and my gun wouldn't freaking fire underwater. Boy, I tell you, I just have all the luck today. Wet the bed this morning. Yeah, unrelated incident. Just thought that I would mention it. But now I have no arms. See this? Everyone's gonna laugh at me now. Like, man, this is freaking... I can't even believe this right now. You know? Gotcha! Oh! Oh, man! I freaking did it again! Another April Fool's classic prank by the master of ceremonies. Fools a nation of idiots, once again. You really think a school of sharks would ever get the better of me? I eat sharks for breakfast. Like, literally. I found a dead shark washed up on the beach the other night and grilled it up and ate it. And I don't think I was actually supposed to do that because I spent about a week on the crapper after that one, pushing out shark teeth one by one. That's how I got the rectal bleeding, actually. Uh, the first time, yeah. The first time, I really did uh, fall onto my roommate's dragon arm. Uh, that part wasn't a part of this week's entertainment, but yeah. That about wraps it up for today, folks. Got y'all again. Got every single one of you again. Fifth or sixth year in a row. And the master of ceremonies, the class clown, does it again. Parks the vice principal's car on the roof of the school. Fills the local swimming hole with gelatin. It's a heavy cross to bear, being the funny man. On this day, I'm always expected to come through and get one over on the uh, old masses there, you know? But, yeah. This is also the April Fool's Day, where I believe a mythical deity called the Fool is going to, like, you know, return to Earth and just bring peace and laughter across the heavens and set forth an endless era of prosperity and peace. I truly believe that, but yeah. Just never say that kind of stuff to like a therapist at a mental hospital slash rehabilitation center because uh, they will make you stay an extra week. Uh, speaking from experience, but yeah. Happy holidays, everybody. And uh, just be careful, you know. I might hit you all with another joke later. You never know. You always gotta be on your tippy toes on this day around me, 
you know. The class clown. I can strike at any time on this day. This is my day. This is my day to shine. So for now, this has been BG Cumby. Got my arms bitten off by a shark as uh, this year's new modern day class prank. And you guys are like my class now. Yeah. That makes a whole lot of sense. Signing out. Stay vigilant, everyone, and goodbye. Shout out to all my patrons out there. Alex, Richard Hoffman, Ben Stick Remedy, Josue Vorovich, Hans Wagner, Chelsea Rolf Meow, Chip the Black Boy, David Orozco, Drunken Atheist Studio, Ethical Chungus, Heinze, Josh Howard, Michael Thomas Jones, Rarity Advocate, Brian Haig, Scott Daniels, The Coding Cowboy, and Wooza. Thank you all.